All right. Welcome to race three of the WWZ hosted PCA Sim Racing Summer Fun Series. We are at the lovely Laguna Seca, one of my favorite tracks in the Porsche 718 GT4 Cayman. Not my favorite car. So the combination of the two should be interesting, make for, for a fun night. Um, I do love this track, though. It's, it's a lot of fun. I've driven it probably more than any other track in real life um, and really do enjoy it. Although one must remember, it's a monster. No matter how much you like it or how good you're feeling, this track can turn around the and bite you. The track temp is 77. The air temp is 66 Fahrenheit. At any moment um, can turn around and bite you and uh, cause some problems. So Good luck all. Happy Friday. You gotta hang in and do uh, do the Stay focus thing. The pace car. Good luck, everybody. Go Canada. Get ready, mate. It's hammer time. Go go go. Incident in turn 10. I didn't qualify well, which is part of my problem here. I did my first lap, and uh, it was uh, definitely subpar. Um, and then I got a one X on the second lap, and I stopped Sorry, after the finish to line because my headset crashed. I thought that. I thought that I uh, was done after two, and so uh, stopped on the third, so didn't set a, a third lap. So that sucks. There's an incident in the Andretti hairpin. It looks like Chen. Not hitting that apex through the corkscrew, but I'm uh, as likely as not to cut it too tight if I try to hit it. So there's a little bit of strategy there, because you can't see it, it's a blind uh, drop in the corkscrew. It looks like Christian just got Volker.
I figure once Christian settles in, he's going to be faster than he showed in practice or in qualify. There's an incident in turn six. Chip. Don't panic. We'll get him back. Got a little tail happy there. That happens every once in a while. Too much speed coming in. You hear that little beeping? That's my uh, SemiCube Pro uh, complaining at me through the corkscrew. It clips occasionally through there. And I don't have uh, things turned way up, so I'm not really sure what causes that, but it's an uh, interesting phenomenon. My little off has given Volker and Jeff behind me a little bit of hope. Tenth position. So this is heat one, it's a 20 minute heat. Finishing order of this one will dictate how we start the second one, except for the top eight, which will get inverted. So that'll be interesting. Come on, whoa daddy. Got to use the, the brake. Sector one is zero. Point three one off the pace.
incident in the Andretti hairpin. a lot faster than him, but I just can't safely get around him there. Okay, here's my shot. Him being slow, Volker's pulling us in, which sucks. What are you doing, Mike? Oh, now you make it through there fast. Gee whiz. And for trying to keep me guessing on what you're doing, you're doing a fabulous job because I have no idea. Damn it. Come on, turn. If I go offline, I'm going to have problems. And uh, he slows down online. Oh, Carl. Ah! Okay, Chip. Don't let this guy distract you. Carl. 
Carl, we're in different classes, buddy. Did you see that shit? Did I see what? The cow flying through the air. I did not. I meant David. Sorry, Derek. I wonder if Randall had a problem or something. He dropped off really a lot. B9. Sorry about the tap rental. There's an incident in turn 11. Sorry about that, Rick.
White flag, last lap. I'm sorry, man. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. There's an incident in. Rainy curve. Incident in, turn one. We think it might be Gregory. Sorry for there squeezing you out at the Randy end there, uh, Randy. Hey, no worries. I just ran out of track, man. Okay, we'll try Heat 2. Um, I finished 12th after all of that. Because um, uh, Mike Sachs wound up spinning again um, with all the traffic kerfuffle that was kind of created by our incident and the quirk screw. Um, I... Uh, I own that. I, I, he did a masterful job of defending, um, I guess, and um, I wound up not stopping quite hard enough coming into the corkscrew, and I took an aversion line and uh, <laughs> caught him, rear-ended, and then couldn't get out of the way of those coming behind Carl, us. So. We can't get rear-ended back here. Very good back here. Very good. 20 minutes. P12. So let's see what we can do here. I don't like having incidents. It makes me feel bad. Five, seventeen. Have to look at the replay and see exactly uh, what happened. Okay, Chip, get ready. Didn't expect that. Sorry, guys. Shocking start. Come on, get it together. That was Chris Pies that uh, was in the middle of the track. There's an incident in the corkscrew.
B-19. There's an incident in. Turn three. <laughs> ah, it's again, huh? Jesus. Turn four. Hey, Chad. Do not avoid him. You do not cut across the track like that. If you're turned around, you stay put. Fuck! Speed limit is 35 miles per hour. You've got plenty of fuel. <laughs> 300 feet. <laughs> 100 feet. So while I obviously continued on in the race, I didn't just give up when I got into the pits. Um, I only um, managed to crawl back up to 20th position and actually didn't have a great race after that. Um, after those 10 incident points that you saw, uh, I got back on track and I saw that uh, there was a pack of cars that was like 20 seconds up. And I'm all like, you know, I can still catch them. And wasn't even thinking about incident limits at that point. And I had a couple of off tracks and some, you know, little minor things that... <laughs> Got a black flag for too many incidents. So I wound up having you serve a drive through and then after that I got a few more. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, after uh, all was said and done, um, just wasn't my day. Um, the first race, um, I got impatient on the last lap and um, wound up uh, making a bad decision. I'll ultimately own it. I, I, I made a bad decision uh, trying to get around Mike. I had such a head of steam coming out of the kink, coming in towards the corkscrew, um, but uh, wasn't given any, any quarter um, in terms of uh, positioning or uh, space. Um, I really thought that had I managed to get around Mike, I had a chance at catching uh, the next club car that was up the road um, a, a little ways, um, but uh, just just could not could not figure my way around. Um, this is a tough track to pass on, and that's just been universally true for, for like ever. Um, the race two, um, just just some bad luck in for lap one, um, even worse luck on lap two due to just things happening to other people around me and uh, just misfortune of people's frustration or just just having bad luck. Um, regardless, um, uh, not the best race, not my best outing. Love this track still. I uh, wish I could have done a little bit better. But we have races coming up. Um, this is the last one that we'll be driving in the GT4, which in my mind is a good thing. <laughs> there are people that will disagree, and that's fine. But for me, um, I'm really glad to be getting out of this car. Our next race is going to be at Spa. Um, and that race uh, for the Summer Fun Series will be on July 15th, which is actually fortuitous. That's about 15 days before, um, I think it's 15 days, maybe it isn't even 15 days, but it's a little bit before um, when we are doing the uh, the spa race. Uh, spa race is on uh, Saturday, July 23rd. That's the 24-hour special event for iRacing, Schadenfreude Fodder. Uh, we'll be back, uh, Jeff Williams, Jeff Rosenthal, Rob Cottle, and me um, doing that bit. Um, and so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, looking forward to that. So our spa race in this series will be kind of a tune-up 
um, race for that race uh, in in just a week down the road from then. So that's that's exciting. Um, we'll be doing Le Mans, the GT3R, um, on the 29th of July, and then uh, August 12th we will be at. Um, Catalonia in the GT3R. Then we transition to the 992 GT3 Cup for the final three races, uh, Road America, Daytona, and Imola. Imola is going to be fun. Um, Daytona is one of my favorite tracks. Um, Road America, I'm not that good on. I'm not that fast at that track. Um, I haven't driven it as much as I've driven some of the others, so it'll be interesting to see how I do there. But that'll be the uh, 26th of August, the 9th of September, and the 23rd of September. So do hope that you will hang with us, watch those races as we go through them. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next in terms of videos, uh, different content, different cars, different tracks, different topics on, for topical videos, uh, tutorials, and things like that. So if you have some ideas, some thoughts, or even some uh, ideas of some fun shorts, um, put them in the comments, and uh, we'll see if we can't strike them off the list and, and get them done for you. Um, again, um, like or subscribe, comment, and come back. Watch more. Take care. Bye now. Was machen wir im Sport?